some of you may remember the 1989 movie Roadhouse. Sandra was so bad, it was nominated for a Raspberry <laughs> Award. That's not good, by the way. Uh, but many remember it as your quintessential 80s action film that delivered what it promised. And now we're getting a remake starring a ridiculously in shape Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Our entertainment reporter, Joel Gargiulo, had the very tough job of interviewing this star. Joel. Listen, someone's got to do it, right? I'm just glad it's me. Well, as you said, the first film became a cult classic. The question now is, will the remake. Well, you know what? It has got potential. It is current. It is action-packed. And if I'm being honest, it's just fun to watch. I caught up with its star, Jake Gyllenhaal, for some conversation. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it, like, too far? It's about, like, 25 minutes, I'd say. Bare-knuckle brawls and adrenaline-fueled action. This is Roadhouse. Oh. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. The 80s cult classic is being reimagined, with Jake Gyllenhaal stepping into Patrick Swayze's shoes. Hi, Joel. He plays an ex-UFC fighter, starring alongside actual UFC fighter Conor McGregor. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. It's the first time we see you guys on film together. You are eye to eye. We know a fight scene is about to break out. I've been dying to ask you what on earth was going through your mind in that moment. I remember thinking in my mind as I walked up to him in the shot, oh my gosh, we did that take maybe probably around 30 times. And every time I was like, for sure, that's the end of, that's, mm -hmm. the, I'm, that's the end of my nose. He was great and super helpful. And it actually in the end, it, it was tons of fun. <laughs> Gyllenhaal was not only familiar with the original, but also had a close connection to its star. I'm such a huge Patrick Swayze fan. I can't think of what us. an honor it must have been to play such an iconic role of his. And I know you had a personal relationship with him because of Donnie Darko. Patrick was so lovely to me when we worked together on Donnie Darko and even his battle with cancer, with that he had so much grace, how hard he worked, how much he loved his work, and how much joy he brought to the people around him. To me, his energy is in this performance of mine and throughout this movie. We would not be here today or even made this movie without him. Um, and I'm just deeply grateful to him. There's some Easter eggs to him. There are, yeah, yeah, there are. I, I, I have tattoos, the character has tattoos in, in honor of, of Patrick um, that I will have to have people stop and freeze frame to find if they're interested. <laughs> People seem a little aggressive around here. <laughs> so buckle up and get ready to take another ride to Roadhouse. The film hits Prime Video on Wednesday. And next up for Jake Gyllenhaal, he's headed to Broadway, where he will be starring alongside Denzel Washington mm -hmm. in Othello. There you have it. Wow. I can but, only imagine the workout he must have gone through. Again. Yeah, but I need to see yeah. him shirtless. Uh, listen, w <laughs> watch the movie. It's in there. And I should just say, <laughs> Conor McGregor is going to be a huge movie star after this movie. Uh -oh. Huge. He's going to have a very long career in the films. Move over one. rock. We're going to have a new guy. <gasps> We'll you see. may have just planted actually a seed to Hollywood if anybody's listening. The two of them. I have that kind of power. There you go. Right. There you go. <laughs>